Uh, you guys aren't crazy. Many of y'all probably noticed that any social media timeline that you mindlessly use your thumb muscle to scroll on that's usually filled with your casual rage bait, crazy photos, or jump scan only face promo for the past few weeks, you know, it's all likely been accompanied with the crazy surge in game reveals and upcoming releases for pretty much every major platform. It started with PlayStation and, you know, their state of play showcase that kind of and went like a fart then there was xbox with people being surprised with all those dope ass reveals like you know the new gears and doom titles and most recently in standard fashion for the company nintendo distance its direct showcase at a later date to arguably take the crown and having the most hype video game reveals this time around nintendo stands might celebrate the 18th as a holiday from now on so I'm sure, you know, by now, most of y'all have probably seen the cool games that were announced at the Nintendo Direct, like, you know, the Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, Metroid 4, finally, or the Marvel vs. Capcom 16-bit era of games. But the one title that I have been able to escape hearing about for both good and bad reasons is the upcoming title in the longer band Nintendo series, being Mario and Luigi Brothership. Now, when I say abandoned, you know, obviously the last title that we got out of this series was in 2015, which is basically like a whole geologic era ago when we're talking about modern internet time. And this new release in the Mario and Luigi franchise means a lot to many Nintendo fans, not only because of how long it's been since we got a new installment, but because most of the Mario RPG games are just fan favorites for a lot of dudes including myself so you know the game just from what we see looks beautifully designed even on the legacy hardware of the nintendo switch and it just looks like genuine fun but see even though many fans are wrapped in how good the game itself might be when you get the shit on enemies in turn-based combat many are also wrapped up in just who actually developed this title for pretty good reason Interestingly enough, the original team behind the previous Mario Luigi titles was the developer team Alpha Dream, a company founded in 2000 but went bottom up in bankruptcy in 2019 after having a 465 million Japanese yen debt, putting them damn near in the same boat as Gary Bowser. So with the company ceasing to exist for over 5 years now, players wanted to know just who the hell Nintendo put behind the wheel on one of the company's most liked franchises next title. And we all know Nintendo isn't that hands-on with the community unless it has to do with finding ways to waste time finding piracy, but in a recent interview with GameFile, a Nintendo rep told these folks over there asking about it that some of the original creators from Alpha Dream have been behind the latest Mario Luigi game. But to know officially who it is and what studio was responsible for Mario Luigi Brothership, we gotta wait until the game comes out and see for ourselves. A statement which completely set the instinct off of every internet detective on social media that day. Now, people have been tossing around a, a plethora of theories and hunches for, you know, who could be behind Mario Luigi Brothership, which is technically anyone's guess right now unless they have Nintendo insiders like Pyro did before he got clapped, but currently the main running theory is coming down between two studios possibly being behind Brothership which is ILCA and Monolith Soft. ILCA is the team most notably known for their work on the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes back in 2021, while Monolith Soft is obviously known for the long-running Xenoblade series. And the reason that these are the two studios that make sense for Brothership development is because they both have former Alpha Gym employees working for them right now. ILCA currently has 11 of the former Alpha Gene members on the payroll, while Monolith Soft currently has Hiroyuki Kabuda, who was a game designer and writer for Alpha Dream on the previous Mario Luigi titles. And some fans on social media are split between which size they think is right and who they decide to stand with, like they're choosing Pokemon game versions or some shit, but I've personally seen more people rooting for the side of ILCA being the lucky team since we pretty much established the sheer amount of former Alpha Gym employees that they have compared to any other company. But, you know, I've also seen the theory that, you know, the title could have been worked on by multiple developers, which could include both Monolith and ILCA, so there possibly could be a middle ground where everyone was pretty much on the money. Of course, though, you know, I just gotta say that nothing is confirmed right now, and it still could either be Monolith Soft or whatever other studio Nintendo felt like sourcing the game out to. With how rich the company is, they got enough capital to revive any one of their dead satellite studios like Vanpool for all we fucking know. The point is that people are really eager to know who's responsible for the game, likely to 
you know try and gauge whether the title's going to be good or not which i honestly doubt either way is going to be a problem Given Nintendo's mostly positive track record on RPG titles, I think that either way we're in for a good time, but still, it goes to show how far deep the hype really goes for Nintendo's upcoming releases. Of course, this is all we know now as far as Brothership goes, but we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds for Mario and Luigi in the future. So what do you guys think about Mario and Luigi Brothership, man, and who's developing the game, man? Feel free to comment below. So like the video, subscribe if you're not ready, and I'll show you the next one.